guys and welcome back to um yet another episode of let's play the sims for the barnes bros so this is part i believe we are on number 48 and just fyi if i'm correct here yes we have two more parts not including this one obviously um <laughs> what are you doing you weirdo until this 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 series is ended and the reason why i am ending this at 50 parts as i've mentioned previously is simply because um get to work is coming out and i want to have a slot available for that so i can focus in on it and really crack out some parts for you guys because i know that's going to be super duper freaking exciting look at here comes tinkerbell here comes Tinkerbell. Um, my Sims, actually, no. My original family I ever played, um, the girl married him, actually, I think. Michael, Mitchell, My Mitchell, Michael, whatever his name is. And that is how my whole family started, basically, is with this guy. He was actually my first guy, which I think is kind of cool. Um, talking about dreams with someone. Okay, so what we were just doing... Uh, <laughs> as our handsome Mr. Chris here, he is, uh, relaxing. Um, we just bought a whole bunch of gear so we could camp out and we're here with Don Lothario and they're having like a little bit of a, a bro fest sort of. Looks like Don has, um, went ahead and created a forest fire and I guess he's putting it out. I don't really know, but we're going to go ahead and, oh, my knee hurts. We're going to go ahead and talk about dreams a little bit dudes like i'm not even kidding you my knee is killing me i feel like an old lady i was roller skating i think we told you this and like i slipped and fell and to avoid while well, my son okay <laughs> first and foremost all right decided to cut in front of me like a semi truck cut in front of a tiny cat and uh basically me and him went barreling down the lanes and i like slammed onto my knee like you know how normal people put their hands in front of themselves so they can like block no 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 like my whole body my knee is just basically and i went to the floor and my face skidded <laughs> across the side of the railing it was beautiful it was gorgeous my husband was watching me and like he was waiting for me to like get up and i didn't and it hurt so bad so i have like the big fatty 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 bruise like the worst what the hell is that running squirrel um ever so like my desk is the most awkwardest thing ever like i can't put my knees like completely under it so it just kind of sucks sitting here for a really long time and i've been filming a lot today so i don't know we're gonna make some what am, let me guess what are we making frank and beans dude frank and beans oh and you drop the spoon just kidding uh we could go ahead and actually like set up some of our gear since we spent some serious dinero on it there we go here's our little campground we've even got a pretty spiffy portable cooler which i like everything is kind of green and then there's a light, which I wish could go on top of the cooler, but does not. Um, so there we go. We could have gotten a couple chairs and things of that sort, but we didn't. Um, chatting with Dawn. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to take a picture together. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a juice, a.k.a. a cold one, which I wish that's what they were called, but they're not. Um, I don't know what the hell we're talking about, but let's just go ahead and do that really quick. I kind of want them to ha get drunk a little bit, relax, have some fun. We are so close to the bathroom sink, goodness gracious. But I'm going to go and grab a juice if I can. Um, stop talking to Dawn for like five seconds. That would be beautiful. Okay, here we go. So we got our cold one, and it actually does look like juice. So I'm thinking... We're going to brag about our handiness skill a little bit. Describe a new idea. Boast about our biggest catch. And maybe we, after dinner, we can go do a little uh, fishing. That would be kind of fun. Um, it's really, really early in the day. So, like, literally we have the whole entire day to kind of relax and, and, and enjoy. Not to mention, I think with his little beard or whatever, he kind of looks like a Neanderthal. I'm, like, not even joking. But we became good friends with Christopher. Or, no, we are Christopher. <laughs> um, we became good friends with Dawn. We could probably, like, pack up the cooler, too, and then go down to the go down to the falls for the day. He's like, oh, he's got goo-goo eyes for Mr. Mr. Dawn. Give him repair tips. I'm sure you would. Uh, make a move. Ask if single. We're going to ask Dawn if he is single. 
um, just out of curiosity, and he is. And I don't think we know about his career quite yet, so we're going to ask that also. Um, Don's unemployed, which is not that surprising, but look at these beans, dude. They look hella lush. Like, they look pretty good. Um, he's so cute. They actually do look really nice together. I like them both. I do. I know. He will always have a soft spot for Don, and... I think he really does like him a lot, but he loves his family so, so, so much. It's really, really, really hard to, like, get your story straight. <laughs> it is sometimes. Uh, I'm going to ask him. I'm going to I'm gonna do a little flirting and just kind of see how that goes. The mosquitoes are seriously eating this dude alive right now. Oh, my goodness. He's like, <laughs> I was going to get up, but then boo-boo, you know, bay over there went and bat batted his little eyes and... All of a sudden, I'm thinking about money, and I'm thinking about, oh, oh, oh now I'm thinking about Chris. I'm going to sit my butt back down. You see what I'm saying? Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, I want to put this in our inventory so we can go and we can actually sit on the cooler, too. That's pretty, pretty boss. Let's go travel a little bit. He is going to, um, we're going to go to the, um, the woods. Ooh, Annabelle Foster. Is it Annabelle? Isn't Annabelle the same with Annabelle we saw earlier? Dude, she is so here right now. Annabelle Foster. I'm pretty positive that we know her. Let's see if we can find her. Uh, I kind of wonder where she is off to. We could even just go down here. Like, we don't even need to go in the woods. We could probably just travel to the edge of the, the thing here. But I'm trying to find Annabelle and see where she is at. But I'm not, I'm not really, oh, excuse me, I'm not really see her. Um... Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to have Dawn and I. Let's go to this part over here. We're just going to speed on through and go fishing. Um, examine the water. Oh, I want Dawn to come with. All right. Well, if he wants to, he can, I guess. Right? Okay. So we're going to go examine the water and see how this looks really quick. And then probably, I guess we could fish here. This looks like a really, really, really nice area. Maybe we'll get some good stuff that we'll be able to sell. All right. So the most of the fish, okay. Most of the fish here, wait, 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 wait. Most of the fish here will eat almost anything as long as it's organic. Ooh, okay. Go fishing with bait. Oh, we have the dirt, the duster frogs. All right. We're just going to do normal, normal fishing. And I need to go and actually breed these really, really fast. Basically, I got both of the, um, oh, we have bred a new frog. Yay. So we have $1,300 worth of these dirt surfer frogs, pretty much. Dirt surfers. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of speed on through while our boo-boo here um, fishes a little bit. And we'll see kind of what we catch. Actually, we got a yellow a yellow perch. Not worth a lot, but hey, he's definitely catching something. Even if most of it's like seaweed, it's totally cool. Totally cool. So it's like 518, and I think Chris has been working pretty hard. So far, all that we've gotten is gotten. All that we have got is a yellow perch, two things of parsley, and a bath, and a pineapple, and a peach tree. Whatever the hell. No, we actually got another perch. So, I mean, we're not doing too bad, but we don't really got a lot of money. Or a lot of anything, really. It just kind of seems to be not paying off that well. But uh, I don't know. We're going to have him use the restroom and then go find Don wherever he may be. Start up that fire. Tell us some stories and see what other fires we can also start. He, oh my gosh, these freaking, what is Don doing? He is like thinking about bats. Those aren't bats, babe. Those are, um, I'm pretty sure those are flies. Yep, flies. Flies, flies, flies. Um, but yeah, all right, let's see. So we're coming out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and vent a little bit. Oh, he's giving me a hug. Oh my goodness. Um, I wonder if we can we could ask him out on a date. This is such bad news. We're gonna sweet talk him a little bit and see kinda how that goes. He likes the sweet talk. Maybe we can sit here together and, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I feel like they could accidentally do a little something, something, but I don't know how I feel about that. See, now he's actually the one that is confessing his attraction. Like, I am not even, I don't know if Don's confessing his attraction to me or I'm confessing my attraction to him. And it's going to be Jaden's birthday when we get back. How exciting. Um, I don't know who 
confessed their attraction. I think that it might have been me that did it. Oh, gosh, that's so awkward. Oh, they're stargazing together. How sweet. But too bad nobody, like, likes anybody. I mean, it's just kind of very awkward. It's always been awkward. But there's always been that connection there. But nothing's ever happened, I guess. So I don't know. What will become of this situation? We're going to do a smooth recovery and try to, like, pick up some of the pieces here. Because <laughs> I was talking about a pair of ruby red pumps will do the trick, correct? I thought so. Okay, no, that, that didn't work. God, whatever. Yeah, I don't think they have what it takes to be romantic with each other. And that's totally cool. He's going to come over here and talk to Nina. Go call Nina. Um, maybe start up this fire a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's slightly embarrassing, but we're gonna go and um, light up this fire. Throw in a couple good logs. Get it really, get it really um, blazing there. All right, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and call Anina. We kind of miss her a little bit, and we feel slightly guilty that we may have um, been instigating some not so nice things which is you know it happens um we could even have like aaron come like last minute and i could i'm gonna have aaron come and join the vacation it's just kind of awkward here with don and he's starting to feel a little insecure about the situation so um christopher has earned 196 dollars on his day off all right so we talked to nina Aaron's actually here in his pajamas, which is pretty funny. He needs to go ahead and use the bathroom. He's waiting in line. He actually wants to be funny with Liliana and a whole bunch of jazz. Um, I'm going to mm, I'm gonna just have him hang out a little bit. We don't have a chair, so we're probably just going to have to stand here. And Aaron's going to go freshen up in the bathroom, but he's in his pajamas. Don't sleeping on the log. This is a very awkward trip, but it works. Oh, my gosh. Literally, you guys, they are waiting in line, except pretty positive you may have just cut. I don't know. All right. How's he feeling? Let's go have the bros hang out for a little bit. It's kind of late at night, but it's totally fine. I think I just passed our campsite. Where did where did Chris go? I don't know where he went. Where did he go? He's sleeping. Okay, cool. So let's have Aaron come over here real fast. He is so freaking cute. I can't believe that they're both going to be old men. Very, 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 very soon here. Awesome. This is not a very good outfit, baby, for you to be wearing right now, but it's totally okay. Uh, I want to give him a heartfelt. I want their relationship to, like, end on a good note. They used to freaking hate each other so much at one point. And, of course, Aaron is going to wear his little, his outfit. You know, the whole total... How would you say? Like, kind of like preppy boyish. I think that's kind of Aaron's style, mostly. He's, like, kind of preppy. Pre preppy. He's totally preppy. No, he's preppy. Blah. Yeah, he's preppy. And, um, Chris isn't. <laughs> Chris never was like that. So, it seems like they're actually having a fun time talking about stuff. And who knows? Actually, Aaron was doing really, really, really good about getting, like, working out and getting in shape. And then he totally just, like stopped caring so i mean it's whatever i don't know if um he'll actually ever be in shape but i think aaron just kind of has accepted himself the way that he is and that's pretty much how it goes i guess so i'm gonna just speed um on a little bit more and i think that i will um probably pick up in the morning yeah, we'll do that. So I think we have about just a couple hours left of our trip. Aaron and Chris had to take turns with the tent last night because um, I don't know if, if if they're good enough friends to sleep in the same tent or that that tent is just for one person only, which kind of sucks. thought it was really, really cute that Chris here wants to perform a woohoo in a tent. So that might be something he can go ahead and take home to Nina. So after his morning jog and, and, and Aaron getting a little extra Zs, we're going to go and have these two head on home now it's about time and also we've got a couple birthdays we've got Jaden, and we've also got um them aging up as well so i think that we need to go home and make a cake and then use it twice i think it is twice or so for both of the, both of them um, and that way we don't have to, like, make three different cakes. But uh, Jaden's going to turn into a teenager, which is very exciting. We'll get an idea of what he looks like. Uh, and then, obviously, we're going to have two sets of old men on our hands. Just so cute that they're older now and, you know, grown up, sort of. <laughs> 
I mean, they've always been grown up, but we literally saw them as little itsy bitsy little guys, and now they're now they're big. You know, it's just kind of sad. Uh, I want to cook a cake. We'll just do a hamburger cake. It really doesn't matter at this point. What's Nina doing? She's just going to go ahead and eat some chips. See, girl, that's why you have that little bit of an issue. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I personally don't care, but she does. But it does not help at all when she is, um... Okay, so obviously this is blocking our vibe. So I'm going to just move this. Yeah, we can just sell it. That's why everybody is eating chips and crap, because... There's, like, no room to actually cook anything decent to eat, which makes total sense. I mean, who the hell wants to eat chips anyways? I just thought it was what they liked to do. Uh, we've got a couple extra bowls here, and I think that's so cute. The milk, the milk, the milk, the milk, the milk and cereal. I love this freaking house. It works so much more better. Um, whatever. It's probably, it works so much better, so much more better, so much better, whatever. I don't care. Um... Yeah, I just really, really like it. Okay, so Miss Kitty 425, a hey, 425 area code maybe, um, just commented on my profile. Wonder what you said. Okay, Kitty Jaden, you really need to get your head out of your mama's coolie. I'm just saying, boo boo. All right, uh, I wonder if I can go ahead and add some birthday candles. I don't know if I will fit. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and actually let Jaden blow out these candles right this instant. And then um, I'm going to put some more candles on them as well. If you guys don't know, Jaden is, oh, they're being so flirty. He must have missed her after you were stinking around town in those tents. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I totally forgot. All right. Well, I'm going to have him go ahead and uh, blow out these candles or at least try to anyways. I don't know if it was, if it'll work, but we're going to give it a go. And he made a microwave dinner. Oh, look how sweet. I need to take a picture. And then freaking, <laughs> we've got little Miss Liliana over here throwing her hands up in the air like she just don't care. Uh, all right, I want to take a picture of this. This is absolutely adorable. Oh, my goodness. Little Jaden Barnes is such a big boy now. I remember when he was born. Hell, I remember when Ollie was freaking born. So, wow, Tasmanian Devil, Teen Dumb, Romantic tri Tribals, Sweaty Gym Shorts, <laughs> ew, and uh, Hormonal Upheavals await. Best buckle those seat, seat boots. Those seat boots? Those seat boots? Buckle. Best buckle those boots. Oh, the ride starts here. Okay. I don't get it. Uh, I kind of think Jaden would be a little bit of, I don't know what he would be. If he would be like a romantic kind of guy, or he would be... Um, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like he'd be a little, a little mischievous, I feel. Public enemy, sure. We can make him a public enemy. He is definitely self-assured. And we're also going to make him, um, we're going to make him outgoing. Let's do that. A little bit different there. Um, I don't know what he looks like, but he's got, what the hell is this? He looks like an old damn man. This cracks me up. Look at Chris. He's like, oh, I don't know what's going on. I don't want to age them until, oh, honey, you do not look like no teenager I've ever seen. Oh my God. He is so cute though. So freaking cute. All right, Mr. Jaden, we need to go and like change up your deal. Uh, I feel like I just decorated your room and you're like now a big kid, so... That kind of was like defeating the purpose, but let's go upstairs and change his appearance. He reminds me of someone from LMF LMFAO, especially with those like hipster 80s glasses. Yeah, he totally reminds me of that. Um, it's kind of funny, but we're going to give him a little bit of a makeover and uh, get to see what he looks like up close and personal. I feel like he might look like Zoe, like a lot. I don't know why, but I kind of do. Oh, yeah, I was right. Now, so here is Jaden. <laughs> he is so freaking cute. He, okay, if you cover, like, from here up, he looks like, um, he looks like, he looks like, um, oh my god, what is his name? Aaron. But if you, like, go from here down, he looks like Zoe. That is so freaking funny. Oh, uh, he's cute, though. He is. He just does not look like a teenager. Like, he looks like an old man. Um, I want to, like, get rid of this facial hair can't I get rid of it? Okay, because you should not have facial hair at that age. But he's he's cute. All these kids are just so different looking. But he totally, I think he resembles what he, he used to look like. Um, at least to me, anyways. He kind of 
still looks the same. But let me go. Is my son listening? I don't know what my son's watching. Let me go and switch up his hairstyle a little bit. I kind of love this hair for him. I feel like it fits his personality. But then there's just a whole bunch of other ones we could do. We could even give him a little bit of like a mohawk or something like that. Um, that would be kind of cool. Or we can just stick with what he had before. Just going to play around with these hairstyles here and see what might work. Um... I don't really like any of these hairs at all, but he has like light brown hair. I, I think really though, we'll probably just keep either this actually looks nice too. Um, cool. I actually kind of like this one. All right. So we'll do this for Jaden and he definitely takes after his mother a lot. Like I think he looks so much like her. Do we have like sideburns or anything that we could plop in? I just love the way the sideburns look. <laughs> I really do. They look kind of nice. Uh, no. All right. So let me go and put him in his little outfit. This is his everyday wear. He's actually um pretty pretty fit. And he's cute. I think he's cute. I'm going to put him in a white one, actually. We'll do the white here. And then we're going to do a different color because I feel like everybody has these color, this color pajamas. And for his everyday wear, oh, his hairstyle snapped back to what it was. Uh, for his everyday wear, we could do, um, I actually kind of like that hairstyle too. But I want the other one more. Where was it? Where was that? Why do I always, oh, here we go, Jesus. All right, I actually kind of like the outfit a little bit, boo-boo. I'm -boo. kind of like swearing on me. Ooh, I like this too. You look so sexy. Um... Let me see. What else would he wear? But the, the jeans, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling these jeans. We need to get you, like, some big boy jeans. Okay. Uh, like the shoes. Those work nicely. There you go. He's actually a quite a little handsome fella. Um, yeah, you know, he's a cute kid. Actually, he's a really, really cute kid. This kind of looks like Tate, but, like, with black hair. Uh, and there's also these kind of different styles, too. But I really think he looks sharp in this olive blazer. So we'll probably keep that. Um, and then I'm going to put him in this. Actually, this one looks kind of nice, too. Okay. Then for his party outfit, um, I feel like this is something Aaron had. We're probably going to put him in this one. I think this is kind of cute. It, it kind of looks like him. He actually looks like one of my ex-boyfriends, and I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I wish he was. He does look like an ex-boyfriend of mine. Isn't it weird? I don't know. Um... So, I don't, um, I don't think I'll be pre-filming any more of these parts by the time that you see them quite yet. I don't remember, but I'm just, like, letting you know. I, I have been pre-filming this pretty much for the last two parts. So, I don't know. I was just kind of throwing that out there. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you, boo-boo, next time. Bye, guys.